You should have been on him last year when his mane was pink and purple. <laughs> nice. There you go. And you hold on to the mane right there. Okay, you got it? Yeah. We're gonna pull the stairs out. Can you take the rock? Did you take both rocking horses on that uh, eastern tour? No, I just glad. This guy here went on a tour of the country from San Francisco and to Vermont oh, in really? the summer of 14. Doing nothing but Ronald McDonald houses and schools for special oh, cool. kids yeah. and, and things like that. It was the most amazing two months of my life. I bet. I loved it. So you did know you that? Make it? What's that? Did you make it? Yeah. That's awesome. You know that car that you got? You know what that car tells me? Somebody really cares about you, right? You know that. That's wonderful. She does an adaptive horse riding too. So. We, we went to a few of the horse ranches like that. To, to the kids that really couldn't even ride the, the horses. Uh -huh. Which, you know, those horses are pretty well trained for that. The kids that couldn't even get on those, they came on here, took them for a ride. We did fundraisers for big brothers and big sisters. Ooh. I just, I had a great time. The special kids opened up my eyes to a lot of stuff. Happiness is one of them. The kids with Down syndrome are amazing. Uh -huh. All of them. Yeah. You having fun up there? I had a kid uh, awesome. my um, We did uh, <coughs> the church school, the church service that we had at one of the kids. I remember reading somewhere that um, if they're having issues, I don't um, start counting. Um, because some kids with autism are in like order, and so I would say they're misbehaving and they start counting forward and backwards. So they're not they're not concentrating on, they start concentrating on the, on the sequence order, and they stop doing their activity and do more of that. It's going to like give them dogs some cheese or something. Uh -huh. So, like the dog doesn't think about the other thing, yeah. it's doing the one thing. So. Well, one of the one of the first kids I, I took for a ride that, that was uh, that had autism, the boy was about 14 years old, but he was very deep inside of him. Uh -huh. He was at a Renaissance fair in Lake Tahoe. Right. And he wanted to go for a ride, so we got him up there. And it was amazing what this thing does to a kid like that. It just. I first I saw his eyes come out, and then his head went up, and then his shoulders came down. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And his mom was watching me. Just... Well, it shocked me at first, but I was. Yeah. Kid comes down off of the horse. Throws his arm around me and gives me a big old bear out of mom's jaw. Awesome. She came over and told me, we got to stay off of this stage here, okay? So I don't have to keep an eye on you, too. The other stage is fine. She came over and said, you know, we did not do that. we got one problem. You don't have a giant rocking unicorn. I said, it's not me. It's a unicorn. And then she said, yes, but... The unicorn is you, and you are him. Oh, yeah. You're yeah, like you know, this. It is you. I felt pretty good about that. Yeah. Are you having fun? Oh, I love yeah. to see that smile. That's beautiful. Did you see the jousters? Those guys are crazy, huh? What? I would never do that. You like, you like that mane? It's soft, huh? All right, we better get this. down. I love you this. You still got to get something for your brother. Okay, let's get the stairs locked into place. Thank you very much for that. Oh, you're quite welcome. My pleasure, and I mean that. From the bottom of my heart, I mean that. I love it. Does my